Hello viewers, we'll be going over Gold Miners, ETF ticker symbol GDX. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for GDX. So back to the technical analysis, GDX is currently up 1.2%. On the one hour chart, we have now approached the positive MACD and we're nearing overbought RSI on the one hour chart. As for the four hour chart, we start CI convergence on the still negative MACD, and if we expand that further onto the daily chart, we have reached found support on the 50 day moving average, this yellow line. And it is a bit too early to say if we were to say, uh, reversal and continue to make higher highs. Ideally, we want to see the daily MACD start to converge or possibly even dip into a negative MACD and then reverse higher and approach to positive MACD to get a refresh start. So at the moment, if we do manage to climb higher, I do see a possible resistance being around the 18-day moving average, this purple line, and that coincides with previous resistance level around that day back to June 1st at the price of $35.06. And as for support, if we do manage to break the 50-day moving average, the next possible support that I see it is around the price of $30.20, and we see the previous resistance level that dated back all the way to April 13th. And since we're above resistance, that now act as our support. So if we were to fall down lower to hit previous support level or resistance, that price level to the downside is roughly around 8.4%, and to the upside, it is around 5.7% to hit next resistance level. So now let's examine the day-by-day probability model for GDX. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 50% chance for GDX to climb higher between 0 to 6%. And on the extreme case, we have a 30% chance for GDX to climb between 6% to say 12%. And a further extreme case to the upside, we have a 10% chance for GDX to climb between 12% to say 19%. And to the downside, we have a 10% chance for GDX to fall between 0 to negative 6%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for GDX. So we have one day out, that would be a Wednesday, and two days out would be a Thursday, and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. We have our current trend as our blue line. And overlapping is the trend that I found to be the best match. So we have our current trend right here. And below is a trend that I found in the line graph up top. And this trend dates back to... January 11th to April 7, 2016. So let's begin comparing the two trends. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We average both the middle Bollinger Band for several weeks, and then we revert back to the middle Bollinger Band. And then towards, or say, let's start with the trend in the past. So we do start at the bottom Bollinger Band as well. We average above the middle Bollinger Band, and we revert back to the mean. And the trends are similar, but not identical. So one thing to note, we have, in this case, on a current trend, we did touch the bottom Bollinger Band, but not on the trend in the past. So do keep that in mind. So what we have here is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same. The outcome and forecast should be also somewhat the same. So the forecast or the model that we just found back in January 11, 2016 to April 7, 2016. Back then, GDX was up around 6.2%. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation of 30% chance between 6% to 12%. And let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. So on the current trend that we're in, we're currently down 12% from monthly high, up 41% from monthly low, down 85 base points from 10 simple moving average, down 3.5% from 20 simple moving average, and up 3.7% from 50 day simple moving average. And now the trend that we 
just examine. Again, it was January 11th to April 7th, 2016. Back then it was down 38 basis points, up 40% from monthly low, up 3.7% from 10 simple moving average, up 3.5% from 20 simple moving average, and up 11.4% from 50 day simple moving average. So there are technical differences among two trends. One thing to note, so the trend that we just examined, or the trend that the passage should say, it was down, it was fairly close to the monthly high, compare that to the trend that we're in. It'll back right now we're down 12%, compared to the trend in the past, it was only down 40 basis points. And also to note that in the past, it was up 3.7% from 10 simple moving average and also up 3.5% from 20 day simple moving average and compare that to the trend that we are in it was we're in now 85 basis points below the 10 simple moving average and below 3.5% from 20 day simple moving average so among the monthly high the 10 simple moving average and 20 day simple moving average there are technical differences among two trends. So again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.